forecast says that we're going to have snow. Well, not today, but it's coming later in the week. I need to try and do a few things up on the roof to prepare for that because last year we had damage and I have not gotten everything ready to deal with the damage. I repaired it, but I haven't put anything up there to, to prevent it happening again. Three of these rails. I ordered all these parts. I put it together in my head and I've had this stuff sitting here six, eight months. With the glare of the sun, I'm not sure it can be seen, but catch what I'm putting together here. This thing is a beast. I thought this thing was gonna be more like sheet metal. So I didn't realize how sturdy this thing is. This thing is a tank. This is a snow splitter. Some people call it a cricket or a snow wedge, but this is a snow splitter. And the whole point of it is to prevent any kind of a load of snow that starts sliding down the roof from pushing the chimney. I mean, that much snow, if it starts to move, can just rip the chimney right off the roof. And last year, what happened was we had ice, and it was probably only about that thick, but as it started coming down the, the roof, it pushed on the thimble that is around the chimney, and it dented it and did some damage to it. I took it off, did some repairs to it, straightened out the piece that was on there, the collar, and siliconed it back on, but that was a temporary repair. I have a new collar, and I've got this setup that I hope is gonna be sufficient to get all this taken care of and keep this from happening again. I'm using S5 clamps. I've used them before. When I was putting the satellite dish up on the roof, the Starlink, and I'm putting these little retaining knobs in here before, before I get going. All these to do, I'm gonna turn it off and I'll come right back. All right, I think I've got everything situated here. I put these together the way that they're going to be. You have to imagine that you've got the standing seam metal roof the seams are going this way. You will see it when I put it up here. You got another seam going over here. These tabs that are loose, it doesn't seem like they would hold, but once you get them on there and you get this on the standing seam and you fasten this down to this, it's nice and tight. Let's go ahead and measure this out to make sure we've got this bent the right way. This is really, this is peculiar. The way that they've got this, I didn't know. Yeah, that's a problem. I may only have, I can't have just. <sighs> yeah, that's a problem. This is stamped out staggered. Like you would, I guess they want you to put it on a roof and, and bolt it right to the roof and it's staggered. Well, it's not gonna be going on like that. I can't put this thing up there all cattywampus like that because Jafana will look up there and she will not like it and I will hear about it and then I'll be up there trying to figure out how to fix it. I am not fond of that design. I'll have it all the way back here fastened in here and then I'll have the middle of this one over here but this one, the back end of this is not fastened in. It doesn't make sense. All right, first things first, I got to fold this in a little bit more. There. That way it'll be on these rails, centered on these rails. A pair of Lyman's pliers. I'm going to bend these tabs out so that they're flat enough that I can get a bolt down through it. There we go. And get them all flattened out like that. These bolts slide in here to hold it, but they're too big to go through these holes. So I need to bore those holes out a little bit. Try not to drill a hole in my tailgate. All right, I am up here. Yeah, I got an hour and change on this thing. It's plenty of time. You can see where there was some of the damage 
on there. I took care of it. I have coated it with silicone also to make sure it can't be leaking. I am going to fix that later on, but right now I want to try and get this uh, snow splitter on here. And I've got these two standing seams that I'm going to be working on. And the sun is dipping down. As soon as that sun goes down, moisture is going to start condensing on this roof. It's going to get slippery, so i got to work fast. A couple of these to line up. I need the first one on here. So first, I need to put a couple of these on here. They've got a little clamp on them, and that clamp goes down around that standing seam. And right here, and then I want to twist these little retention nuts in here and it's 42 degrees out here it might even be colder than that now and my hands are starting to get a little sore i don't know how y'all up north manage to do this kind of thing in the winter time because i wouldn't be able to do this with gloves on and i'm too much of a baby to be able to do it without gloves I'm just eyeballing it. I'm not using a level or a square, which I should be, but that's just how it is right now. I'm going to take these two clips. I'm going to slide them out. I'm going to put them on here. And once I fasten them down on here, these things will get very stable, which is weird. I don't know how it works, but it works. I can always put two of them in here, two of these bolts in here if I needed to. And once you fasten them in, it seems to lock it in there really tight. It doesn't even want to move. I'm trying to move it over a little bit, but it does not want to go. There we go. Well, let's see if I can get the other piece up here now without some kind of a problem. You gotta be careful carrying this thing up because those edges are a little bit sharp. What I'm gonna do first is I'm gonna fix this thing into here with one of these bolts. Slide this up in here. Put that on it. That way I don't have to play with it. I can just leave it. Step up here and look at it and see if it looks right. All right, I'm gonna put this on here first before my hands go numb. Anytime you're doing any sort of custom fabrication, you're going to have a lot of jiggling and maneuvering to get things exactly right. Slide this one up underneath. When you run up on some of the problems that come with a custom install, you get a greater appreciation for the people who do this all the time. And you can certainly appreciate the ones who are able to do this and still keep a good aesthetic as opposed to those who do it and it just doesn't look good. I'm gonna have to come back with a wrench, tighten this up because I can't reach it. Yeah, that's going to require some adjustment. That's looking a little cattywampus right there. There we go. I don't like that. That needs to get changed just a little bit. This one down here looks pretty good. Hey, Apollo, get out of there. He's over there messing where that snake is. I don't want that snake disturbed. I want him to stick around, do his thing, get vermin and get venomous snakes. I'm gonna go down here and grab an adjustable wrench real quick, but I have the snow splitter up here. It is mounted the way it needs to be. So if we get any snowfall, it's gonna make it divide off so it doesn't peel off my chimney. 
I've also got a couple of pieces in case we get heavy ice. I've got a couple pieces that are gonna mount right here and touch with uh, little rubber fingers that go down there, create a little ramp so it goes up and over and doesn't end up sliding down underneath and putting pressure on there. Cause you can see last year, the snow and ice put some pressure on there and it bent it back. It didn't compromise it, thankfully, but it definitely did some damage to it. And I wanna prevent any further damage. That's Duravent right there. I'm not sponsored by Duravent. I have no connection to Duravent or S5. I just like the S5 clamps. And the Duravent was the best priced one that was in that flat pack that I could get shipped to me. Tech X Direct is where I got the stuff from. So that's where I got the Duravent from. And I ordered the S5 from buys5.com. By coming up here and tightening these bolts because i know y'all would beat me up in the comment section saying i never finished the job and that's not true and that is it now i know a lot of people are going to say you could probably make one yourself you probably could I don't have the metal and I don't have the time. So I went ahead and hit the easy button and bought it. It is a little pricey when you put all the S5 gear together and put the Duravent on there, but it ain't near as pricey as this chimney is. And if this thing gets ripped off by heavy snow, whew, well then you can't heat and you've got a repair to do in the dead of winter when you got ice and snow on your roof. And that is a bad day. Oh. Remember I said it was gonna start getting slippery? Well, it is starting to get slippery. The condensation has begun and this roof, whoo, this roof is getting treacherous. The higher up I go, the worse it gets. And you can even see like a little frost line coming across the thing. That ain't good. I'm gonna get down off here before something bad happens to me. Y'all come back and see us again at Break Hard Orchard. We'll be here. I'm gonna fall and bust my butt. Ouch, that was my stupid thing is wiggly as hell. Ow. Got me.